Hi, I'm Hilary Talbot, acupuncture physician and clinical herbalist. Today we'll be discussing acupressure for rotator cuff injuries. Now, the rotator cuff is an actually really complex joint, and there's a lot of different directions and planes and range of motion that occur because of this complexity. So when you hurt this joint, if you're gonna get acupressure or acupuncture, it's important that you and the physician understand exactly which meridians are involved. Now, if you've just um, injured the shoulder and the injury is pretty fresh, you don't wanna do acupressure really on that um, joint when it's super inflamed and painful. And believe it or not, you might actually choose to treat the other shoulder because the meridians are bilateral. They do connect. And so there's this idea that you can treat one shoulder by treating the opposite. So if it's really painful and inflamed, you're going to want to treat the opposite shoulder. Let's say you're at the point, though, where you're doing physical therapy and rehabbing the shoulder itself. Um, there are two points, local points. There's a large intestine point and a triple burner point right kind of like the eyes of the, of the shoulder, if you will. These are points that I almost always, with shoulder injuries, will stick needles deep into the joint and sometimes actually burn mox in to deliver some intense heat and help with inflammation. But a little bit of um, moderate to um, firm acupressure with your thumbs can really be helpful. Um, and then depending on which meridian is affected, you can use distal points. So let's say that you experience the pain up the side and in the front of the shoulder as opposed to the back. Um, continuing with channel theory, there would be the large intestine that is affected, large intestine channel. So you would come down the channel, which stops, there's a, there's a point right here at the end of the, cre the crease of the elbow. And then there's also an, a point just down in kind of the meaty part of this muscle right here, large intestine 10. And this is a fantastic point to really get like some firm stimulation and open up the channel into the shoulder. So if you had a fresh injury and this was really swollen and painful, this might be a point that you choose on the same arm to try and increase circulation into the joint. Like I said, the rotator cuff is a really complex um, set of muscles and it's, there's a bunch of different meridians that run through. So it's important to understand which ones are affected in order to effectively treat the pain and rehab the muscle. So I encourage you to seek out your local acupuncture physician. And if you don't have one, check out acufinder.com to find one in your area. I'm Hilary Talbot and that was acupressure for rotator cuff injuries.